Today you will learn how to transform your KSP game into KSP2 by adding many exciting new planets to explore. The real KSP2 promised us interstellar travel to exotic destinations, but it turned out to be a cosmic disappointment. That's why we're diving back to the OG KSP to explore the top 5 planet expansion mods of 2025 that take the game to another universe. In 5th place we have the Real Solar System Reborn or KSRSS. This mod transforms the stock system into our real life solar system, with planets 10 times larger than the stock ones that you're used to and a serious learning curve to match. You're not on Kerbin anymore. The Real Solar System Reborn pushes realism to its limits. With stunning terrain textures at up to 86k of resolution for the Earth, the Moon and Mars, and this in my opinion really brings them to life. If you pair this mod with mods like Faram Aerospace and Real Progress 1, you have the ultimate aerospace simulator. However, this isn't a quick 20 minute adventure with Uncle Rick, casual players beware, KSRSS will humble you. The Delta V requirements are substantially higher, and surviving an Earth re-entry is nowhere near as easy. You thought flying at 7 times the speed of sound was sketchy? Get ready for Mach 30. But if you're craving the challenge of conquering the actual moon, or colonizing Mars and visiting the gas giants, this mod is a must have. So overall this mod adds 33 new celestial bodies, I give it a difficulty rating of 5 out of 5. The time of loading the game has increased by 124%. You may install this mod with a wizard which I will link in the description of this video which is the easiest method that I recommend, but you could also go with the github method or the google drive method. In 4th place we have Galileo's planet pack. This mod on the flip side offers unfiltered fun and exploration. It trades realism for creativity by dropping you into this brand new fictional star system with exotic planets and a fresh homeworld which substitutes Kerbin and the entire stock system you're used to. Imagine for a second if Kerbal Kind restarted from a completely new place in the universe and you were in charge of exploring a whole bunch of destinations, that would feel pretty exciting. This pack I think is perfect for players that love the stock game but want to relive that vibe that they felt in their early days of exploring the stock solar system. I think it's accessible, this mod, for beginners as well, because it offers a stalker-like level of difficulty, but a veteran might also enjoy it because it offers an exciting amount of planets, which is superior to the stock game. A major strength overall for this expansion is that it offers an unusual binary star system, which doesn't try to mimic our real solar system. So these kind of mods sometimes feel like a breath of fresh air into this game. However, I still have a few complaints. Galileo Planet Pack feels a bit outdated sometimes. The textures of the planet do not match that resolution that we see in other mods today, so that might be a put off, but overall, still a solid expansion. Galileo's Planet Pack adds 28 new celestial bodies substituting the stock ones. I rate the difficulty a 3 out of 5 and I experience a loading time roughly double as long as the stock game and you can install this mod from the Seacan app. Now who will take the bronze medal? Well that is the Outer Planets mod. If you want to visit new places but don't feel like leaving behind good old Kerbin and company, the Outer Planet mod is a mod for you because it adds an extended family to the stock Kerbal system by adding gas giants and their moons all beyond Jules orbit. These new buddies are analogs to Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and beyond of course. The strength of this mod I think is how seamlessly it fits with the original game with the feeling it has. Everything feels pretty balanced too. The Delta V requirements are slightly higher, but manageable with advanced stock parts like nuclear and iron engines. I think this mod is perfect for those intermediate players who want to expand the stock system for new adventures without leaving its sense of familiarity behind. A bonus point goes for adding new layers of lore to the original game. So overall, this mod adds 16 new celestial bodies on top of the stock system which include 4 planets, 11 moons and 1 sub-moon. I would rate the difficulty of this mod a 3.5 out of 5, because it's not that different from the stock system, but each planet being further than Jewel makes the trip always quite long and you have to plan ahead, if that makes sense. This time I experienced an increase in loading time by 161%, more than Galileo's planet pack, 
but this beautiful mod can also be installed from the Seacan app. And the second place goes to Kerbal Star Systems 2, or KSS2. Welcome to the Aethra system, a far away star system you can discover only through interstellar travel. This mod offers a high quality series of planets and moons packed with a level of detail that I've never seen before and certainly did not expect. KSS2 is a mod that raises the stakes, just getting there requires forms of advanced propulsion. Assuming that you don't get lost in space first, navigating the tightly packed system becomes a strategic puzzle. I quite enjoyed the aesthetic of the map, and each planet's description feels like it was written by someone who's truly passionate. I have to admit, there is an aura of mystery which career players will definitely love. Allegedly, there are hidden structures which according to the developers can be discovered through career contracts. If you've conquered the Kerbal system and want to boldly go where no Kerbal has gone before, KSS2 is the place to go. So overall, this mod adds 16 new celestial bodies on top of the stock system, which include 7 planets, 6 moons, 2 comets, and a star. I rate the difficulty a 4 out of 5, because this time you have to get into Stella to even reach this place, and it's not even close so I doubt you could make it with stock part. It would be a crazy challenge. Maybe one day I'll try. <laughs> the loading time is also pretty high. There's a 200% increase in the duration at 3 minutes 15. The installation can be easily done through Space Dock on browser, because unfortunately it's not available on Seeker. Before we continue and look at the mod in first position today, there is a special mention, and that is a mod called Beyond Home. Unfortunately, it cannot review it, because when I fired the game, all the surface textures of the planets were just missing. So if anyone knows a solution, I would gladly hear you out. But anyways, in short, it adds two solar systems orbiting each other, one of which is the stock one, but billions of years into the future, with significant changes. Now, due to the problem I encountered, I cannot review it, but maybe in a future video I'd be glad to. And in first place, drumroll please, the top spot goes to the Kekalbolo system, a mind-blowing interstellar mod that features multiple independent star systems. And you have a black hole, and all of those elements I want to explore, just like you would explore on a new date. However, this dangerous anomaly isn't the only one you should be worried about. For beginners, this mod is a death sentence, and for advanced players, a fun playground. Destinations range from primordial super-Earths to scorching hell planets, from binary gas giants to habitable moons. Kekalbolo delivers a level of variety and scale that's simply unmatched. And yes, there is a twist. A functional wormhole near Jewel is your gateway to this cosmic treasure trove. If you dare get in close to the Black Hole's Event Horizon, this mod will reward your bravery with stunning visuals and epic challenges. Overall, this mod adds 30 new celestial bodies, that is a lot, on top of the stock system, which include 15 planets, 9 moon, 4 stars, a wormhole, and a supermassive black hole. Yeah, that is quite the list today. I rate the difficulty of this mod 4.5 out of 5, because it really gets hard, but at the same time, I wouldn't place it at the same level as the real solar system because the planets are still scaled down to match like stock proportions. The loading time is noticeably longer than stock, but given the amount of content, I expected worse, so it's probably a well optimized mod. And of course, you can install it from Seacan, which is the most recommended way. Now, let's look at the results with graphs. In terms of difficulty, KSRSS and Calbello take the first and second place. In terms of celestial body count, Calbello is by far the winner. And now finally, in relative increase in game loading time, Galileo Planet Pack is by far the most efficient of these mod packs to run on your device. So there you have it, my top 5 planet expansion mods for Kerbal Space Program. Whether you're looking for realism, creativity or interstellar adventure, there is a mod here for everyone. And don't forget to subscribe for more KSP mod reviews, tutorials and spacefaring shenanigans. See you in the next mission.